What's up guys? Welcome to the Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. Beautiful day, the sun is shining. Hopefully I managed to find some decent uh, gravel roads that are clear of snow by now. Um, it's still early, very early spring. Uh, I don't think the summer, the winter is over yet. We got still quite a bit to go, but uh, we will see how it goes. And uh, last time I took the bike out uh, it was a nice day, but uh, my microphone on uh, GoPro just uh, stopped working. So I contacted GoPro and it ended up to be my uh, GoPro mic adapter that got faulty for some reason. I'm not sure what happened to it, but uh, it failed and it wasn't uh, picking up any audio. The riding season is just uh, starting here in Alberta. Um, I was uh, last weekend over down in British uh, Columbia in uh, Panorama Mountain Village. I uh, went snowboarding and skiing with my family and uh, one buddy and the one that usually rides with me on uh, his uh, BMW R1200 uh, GS. I, on the way back uh, the temperature was uh, beautiful. We almost hit I believe uh, 16 degrees Celsius which is uh, quite not normal this time of the year. It's still uh, early, early spring. As you see, there's still snow patches everywhere. Uh, but it was a beautiful day. And as we were heading back home uh, around uh, Banff area and Lake Louise, uh, we started seeing a lot of motorcycles. Like uh, there were, the bikes were out and uh, everybody took the advantage of the early spring to enjoy the beautiful riding weather. So I'm looking forward to the summer and um, let's hope they will not do any more crazy lockdowns. Uh, I came to a free, free world. I went, I went through this uh, before. It looks like the geese are returning. The bike was uh, basically on a trickle charger for slightly over two months this year. Because uh, 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 we had a pretty long, uh, nice uh, fall, which is also very uncommon here. And uh, I was able to ride uh, all the way uh, through December. Even uh, in December, we went out and uh, dressed as a Santa Claus. And a uh, couple of us uh, went on a spin in a Santa Claus costumes. So that was a head turner for some people and kids. Uh, if you want, you can check out the video on my channel. It's uploaded uh, from that day. Uh, so yeah, that was a great season last year. Hopefully it's gonna be nice and safe season this year. I want to explore a little bit more of um, off-roading this year and practice more skills. Uh, I'm still learning a lot of stuff, uh, even though I've been riding this bike already for a couple of years. Um, my previous bike was on the CB500X, so that's what the, the Honda CB500X. Uh, this is a way bigger bike, a little bit different to handle. And we did few off-road adventures last year. Uh, there is more in the plans for this year. It all depends uh, on the situation of uh, the COVID and the restrictions. Uh, we would love to go to Utah but uh, uh, we might have to go back again to uh, British Columbia uh, because uh, we don't know if they will open that border yet uh, this year or not. I guess time will show. So I made it to Nanton. I just had a cup of fresh coffee. And, uh, I'm ready to continue and I should be able to find some dirt roads or gravel roads nearby. So I have installed my new comm system and uh, if you want to check my videos uh, Pack Talk Bolt Black Special Edition um, I had a Sena 30k uh, prior to that it was a great unit uh, but now I'm trying to figure out uh, the new Cardo it's uh, way different uh, comparing to uh, Senna. Um, it's hard for me to get used to it after having Senna for, I don't know, uh, seven, eight years. Uh, had a couple different models over time and uh, now everything is different. 
and uh, it's gonna take me uh, some time to get adapted to this uh, new com system but uh, my daughter uh, she's gonna start riding this year with me so that's gonna be an uh, experience for her uh, I'm gonna be able to take her for a few nice uh, trips so my girl might have a blast uh, she was always anxious to go riding and uh, finally she grew bigger enough to reach the foot pegs on a bike so she's gonna be able to go for uh, rides with me I'm really looking forward to uh, taking her with me and hopefully she's gonna enjoy that as much as I do and maybe in the future uh, she's gonna get a bike of her own or I get her maybe bike of her own uh, when she's old enough Wow! It is gorgeous today, it's really really nice weather today I left the house, it was like uh, 5 degrees only and uh, right now it's warming up Scenery of the beautiful mountains of Alberta just in front of me They're not that far away and it's a clear day so you can see them quite far actually So I'm heading here towards uh, the chain lakes I posted a few videos uh, from last year when I head out uh, that way and it's not too windy, it's uh, not too bad at all today There you go, I found some gravel, let's rip through it I gotta disable my DBS and traction control and see And another one Wow, it's beautiful out here. I have never been in here. I took some other ones last year, but this one is actually pretty cool. Nice views Okay, now we have two choices Left or right We'll go left I'm not sure where, but keep on going 
Oh yeah, that was a good choice. It looks good. Oh, wow! This is actually quite spectacular. I can live with that. But that makes the Africa Twin in a natural environment. That was a nice cornering, a little bit of drift. So that was a bit of fun, as usual, drop the bike a few times, that's what happens uh, when you push it.
was fun to ride in those uh, dirt roads. It's time to pack it up for today and uh, start heading home. I have another 100 kilometers to go home. I'm taking a different route uh, from the Chain Lake area side. Uh, that's uh, gonna take me through Longview. And uh, from there, I will be heading home. I've seen a few bikes passing me when I was flying drone. More guys are out today. So I just got to Longview. That's a very common place for the bikes to visit here from Calgary. Tiny little town. So that was a fun day. Uh, riding in the dirt, riding in the gravel and practicing. I gotta do that more often this year. Um, that, those little practice in, uh, in like this in the field or dirt, uh, that improves your skills a lot. Just be prepared that we, you will drop the bikes whether you like it or not, you will drop that bike. I think I dropped my bike uh, three times today, somewhere around there. Once you start pushing and you lose control, that's what it is. Thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and see you on the next adventure. Everyone out there ride safe, have a good season, the season just opened so stay safe and have fun. Cheers!